Uh, in an interview for tonight's episode of Political Exchange, South Africa's Energy Minister, Depo Peters, expressed her support for the country's plans to adopt nuclear energy. While able to produce adequate energy at times, South Africa's aging infrastructure and load shedding have at times spooked both citizens and investors. The nuclear that is actually found in the integrated resource plan speaks to about 9.6 gigawatt. Remember, South Africa has got more than 60 years experience in, in nuclear, as well as uh, being the world leader in terms of radioisotopes for intervention for diagnostics, for medical diagnostics. So we are saying as South Africa, it is important that we also prepare ourselves in terms of that which is our experience, but that which we would want to derive out of a nuclear belt. When we developed the integrated resource plan, we were very conscious of the fact that we need to be able to move faster towards cleaner uh, uh, technologies because air quality is important. Mm. You'd remember that President Zuma went to Copenhagen in December 2009, made a very, very important and, and fundamental statement of South Africa moving from its greenhouse gas emissions and leadership position as we are in the continent right now to be able to reduce it and we have a long-term mitigation scenario. He said, we will reduce by 34% by 2020 and 25, uh, I mean, 42% uh, uh, th by 2025. The integrated resource plan had to factor that in. Mm. And when we did that, we, rem we, we had to be bring in renewable energy. So renewable energy as it is, the size of renewable energy is actually what led us to be able to bring in the size of nuclear. So it is not to say we are just in love with nuclear, that's what we are bringing in. We bring it in because we want this low carbon trajectory that we have set to ourselves. But so that is the, the, factors, the, the basic. But we also believe that, uh, 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 I'm sorry, what about the I cost the factors? Part. What is the, the cost considerations? We're talking about a trillion rand layout plan. What um, are you looking at in terms of costs, uh, particularly as it pertains to nuclear? There has been concerns that the costs are quite enormous. We are very happy that in our budget this year, the, the Ministry of Finance uh, has, I mean, the National Treasury has given us money, about 700 million rand, to be able to make sure that we look at all the necessary systems and structures and everything else that needs to be in place, including strengthening the regulators, including NEXA and, and, and I mean, NEXA as well as NNR, making sure that we do the work that needs to be happening to support ESCOM as the owner operator as identified, but also to be able to do massive stakeholder engagement. Mm -hmm. Remember the ruling party, the African National Congress, in approving the integrated resource plan said, we need to demystify nuclear so that the people of South Africa should be able to know that nuclear is not only with regard to the atomic bombs, but also how we can be able to apply it. Absolutely. We are very happy that in South Africa, the experience that we have with nuclear, we have eradicated the fruit fly. Maybe mm -hmm. we need to speak to the agricultural sector to get to hear from them the impact of eradicating fruit fly on their produce.